What's going on everyone? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and following the international break we are back with Premier League action this Saturday and Arsenal are going to be playing host to Hull City at the Emirates Stadium. Now this fixture brings back a whole load of memories from last season, most notably that FA Cup final, one of the best games I'm ever going to witness in my lifetime, coming from two goals down to win the game 3-2, end that trophy drought and lift the FA Cup. It was just such a memorable day and a day that I'm never ever going to forget. Of course we did beat Hull another two times as well last season, beating them 3 0 away. Uh, goals coming from the likes of Aaron Ramsey and Lucas Podolski, and we also beat them at home in what was a very comfortable fixture. And I would kind of expect the same this season. Hull have undoubtedly strengthened their side, bringing in the likes of Hatton Ben Arfa, who I would regard as a good signing for Hull was never going to get any game time at Newcastle. I'm not really too, too sure why, because Newcastle are in a terrible state at the moment. Loaning out um, hasn't been off to Hull. Great move for Ben Arthur, in my opinion. Not the best of moves for Newcastle, but in a sense, I can see why Padre's done it. But he's a good move for Ben Arthur. He's going to get game time there. He's going to get some momentum into his game, and he's most importantly improving his fitness. Um, but I think we're still yet to see the best of him this season, but I think he's certainly going to have to adapt into that whole side, and he is a quality player on his day. We can't forget that. As well as that, they've brought in a player that I think is a real surprise to have gone there, Michael Dawson, the, the ex-Tottenham captain, should I say, going there in a move of 3.5 million during the summer. Really surprised me that one. Experienced defender, maybe a player that I would have expected Tottenham to hang on to, seeing as he seems to have a, a kind of legacy at that club. Um, but he's moved to Hull, he's doing a decent job there, filling in alongside Curtis Davies. They're, they're forming a slightly formidable partnership at the back, but certainly one that we should be able to penetrate. And that was our problem against Chelsea, that we weren't clinical enough. A lot of ponying around outside the box, and we weren't getting through defenders. Uh, we were playing very narrow football, playing it too wide sometimes, and we were failing to penetrate the defence uh, uh, against Chelsea. And I would expect us to at least get a goal or two against Hull. At home, I realistically would expect us to be beat, um, beating Hull 2 or 3 nil with a comfortable performance. But I'm not going to underestimate, uh, underestimate Hull. They've got a quality manager in Steve Bruce. He's going to know how to set up against us, and he's not going to make it an easy game for us. But I do, I, Hull aren't the kind of team that would sit back, part of the bus, I hate to use that term, against uh, against the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, etc. They come out, they play good football, and they defend well at the same time. That's why I have a lot of admiration for them, and Steve Bruce especially. So I think it's going to be a really exciting game. Um, but it, looking at us, the amount of injuries we've got for this is absolutely ridiculous. And losing Laura Koscielny is a huge blow. I don't know quite how we're going to fill in a the player there. I don't know if we're going to be playing Nacho on the there, which on paper is just absolutely laughable. We shouldn't have to be in that situation or if we're going to promote Isaac Hayden. In my opinion, I would personally rather see the latter of the two and see um, Isaac Hayden get a game. I thought he played very well in our performance against Southampton. He's the captain of the under-21s, I believe. Very um, powerful, dominant figure. Tall guy as well, commanding physical presence. And he's pacey as well, so he should fit in alongside Per Mertzacker fairly decently. And of course, we've got no Callum Chambers for this because he picked up five yellow cards. Hector Bellerin's going to have to play. Excellent opportunity for him. But that is a very inexperienced defence. And no matter how prosperous these players are, which undoubtedly they are very exciting exciting and talented players and they are going to have big futures they are very young very inexperienced and this is a huge test for them and they're going to have to step up to the plate which you hope they would it's also going to be a big test for Monreal if he does end up filling in at centre back which in fairness to Monreal he shouldn't have to I think he's had a fairly decent season um, this campaign and filling in at centre back if he doesn't have a good performance he's going to get absolutely slated but it's Wenger's fault for having to put him in that scenario when he shouldn't have to be playing there. But if he does play, I wish him the best of luck there. Of course, Muzza Ozil is out for this one as well. Again, he's going to be out for a couple of months, which is a huge blow. Yet another injury is getting ridiculous for Arsenal now. I don't know how we're going to compete with all of our key players getting injuries. Um, one bonus is though that Mikel Arteta is coming back to the squad. Hooray! Uh, that's going to be um, it's, it's going to be good to have him in the team. In all seriousness, it's going to be great to have a player of his commanding presence in the side. Uh, hopefully, he'll come back, do his captain's duties to a good standard, and he presumably he's going to have to start this game alongside Jack Wilshere, who's um, in, in, looking at Jack Wilshere, who's had a really good international break, and hopefully he's going to bring that form into this game. So the team that I would start for this one is Chesney in goal, Bellerin at right back, Hayden Mertzaka. Gibbs, uh, Arteta, Wilshere, Sanchez, Cazorla, Chamberlain and Danny Welbeck. Now I think that's a very exciting team going forward. Um, looking at the defence though, it is fragile, it is frail, it is inexperienced and I'm quite worried looking at that. I, the reason I'd only play uh, Hayden there is because Monreal, the only time he played a centre-back for us was in the second half of that game against Manchester City, which isn't a lot to go on, because Manchester City didn't really turn up that day, and, they didn't re and Monreal wasn't tested at all in that game. So, I, 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 don't, I would rather have someone who is familiar with that position, in, like Hayden, playing this game. And we, 
we shouldn't be having to play Hayden there. We shouldn't be having to play Monterey out of position there because we should have defensive cover. But the fact is we don't. We knew that this was going to happen at some point during the season with getting injury to a centre-back. And we're in this absolutely awful scenario. Anyway, hopefully we can come out of this game with something. I am confident because going forward I think we'll have too much for a hole to handle. I'm hoping that the likes of Hayden and uh, Bellerin will be able to put in a good performance in this one. So I'm going to go with a 2-0 victory to Arsenal. Like I said, I think it will be comfortable. Leave your score predictions in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like rating. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Check out my own channel, AFC Game by Game. And as always, thank you for watching, guys. Get the Arsenal Fan TV app. Available on Apple and Android now.